we'll be talking now about cryptocurrency actually and the Securities and Exchange Commission has actually been issuing some warning. We take a look at that statement and the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC wishes to draw the attention of the general public and investors to a fast going interest in the issue investment and trading in cryptocurrencies. According to the statement, the above mentioned activities offered by unregistered and unlicensed entities on digital online trading platforms with promises of high returns on investments are not sanctioned nor registered by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Some of the popular ones include Bitcoin, XRP, Litecoin, Ethereum, Monero, Tether, Tron, um, Binance coins, etc. The Securities and Exchange Commission wishes to inform the general public and investing public that none of these cryptocurrencies is recognized as currency or legal tender in Ghana. The platform of which they are traded are also not licensed nor re regulated by SEC. SEC would like to make it clear that it does not currently regulate these types of products offerings and their accompanying non online trading platform or exchanges. Members of the general public uh, who are investing or intend to invest in such currencies or assets may be doing so at their own risk and can in no way be protected under the securities law regime in Ghana. The general public is hereby advised to report the activities of those offering such cryptocurrencies like assets, schemes, and their trading platforms and report them to the Securities and Exchange Commission. So cryptocurrency analyst Elijah Otuasian has been reacting to this new warning. I engaged him earlier in an interview. Bitcoin slammed from $20,000 to 4000 currently. Does that make it unsafe as a currency to be trading in for investors? Okay. Um, with the issue of cryptocurrency, basically a lot of people have suffered losses, not because the asset is illegal, but it's because they do not know how to go about their investment. Yes. So um, what I would say is coming from um, the Securities and Exchange Commission point of view, um, I would suggest that going forward the securities and exchange commission should do more not just by um, cautioning people of um, risky investment alone but also educating them as to how they can go about such risky um, investment but, but, but you know also that we don't have any law regulating currently so why then do we bring in education because here in Ghana we are not regulated by anybody so why should people be advised to invest in cryptocurrencies yeah but you should understand that we are now living in a global world and whatever is going on in the outside world is um, um, part of Ghana people uh, tend to be part of it so people are not just confined within the borders of Ghana alone today with just the laptop and an internet connection anybody can connect to a New York Stock Exchange buy stock from the um, New York Stock Exchange and whatever so um, I think that restricting people you can't really restrict people now at this because of technology so the, and there are a lot of people out there who are not interested in the traditional investment asset like treasury bills and mutual funds basically because those assets do not yield much returns they are not interested and basically in investment we have different personalities and different personalities are geared towards different assets some are more geared towards riskier assets while some are more conservative and would always want to um, stay away from riskier um, investment so i think that if those who want riskier investment are educated they can also do well and then yield and do well in their investment by endeavoring in riskier investment. It's not so, so you think that the directive by Securities and Exchange Commission SEC as to, okay, you're doing that at your own risk if you invest in the cryptocurrencies because we don't regulate it, it's neither here nor there because we live in a global world and you can just sit in your home on your mobile phone, you can invest on the New York Stock Exchange. So the Security and Exchange Commission should go further by educating the people how to go about it how to trade it not just cautioning them but how to trade it 
how to invest it, how to do it and be profitable. The, the Securities and Exchange Commission should engage more experts in the global world, more experts um, from even outside Ghana who can come in and then offer more education and um, beyond the traditional way of cautioning um, investors. That is what I am trying to say because your cautioning will not stop them because they are not interested in the um, low um, rate and less risky asset. Not everybody is interested in that. So for those of them who want more riskier assets to invest in, what are you doing for them? That is my point. So that is my point. It, it, it's quite confusing. And so, for instance, now that you said you can sit home, you invest in a Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, if something should happen, there should be a law to bite or regulate people who are actually involved in such trading locally. And now that there are no laws, well, I, I still don't understand why the Securities and Exchange Commission will say, okay, we don't regulate you, but you can do that, and you're doing that at your own risk and all that. It explain to us how that works, especially when we don't have laws regulating the sector here in Ghana. Well, then I think that the Securities and Exchange Commission together with the Bank of Ghana, the government, they should bring the law. So what are they waiting for? We live in a global, global world now. People, things are changing at a fast rate. But we are here, it takes decades for just simple laws. Let's hit the commodity markets now to see how crude oil, gold, cocoa and cotton fed today. More news on my joanline.com slash business. Thanks so much for your time. Do enjoy your weekend. And Gary Al Smith is next with sports. My name is Sandra Sinamafeno.